there, y'all. Bonkle here. Hope you've been having a great day. Hope every day is a blessed day for you and y'all. So, I got a box here. Okay, this box is an eBay purchase, and uh, from the title, okay, of this video, y'all will know uh, that this was a purchase that I made for approximately a hundred bucks, more or less, from uh, from an eBay shop. And uh, I've, I've been going back and forth with Sean over at SD45 Sports. Uh, it's his shop. And uh, actually, after my, I made the purchase, uh, we've been back and forth via email. Great communications. Great eBay seller. I definitely recommend you check out his shop because he's got lots of great stuff on there. Um, the only thing that I would ask is if I'm bidding on stuff. Come on, y'all. Don't, don't, don't run up my bids. <laughs> No, I mean, he's he's got lots of great stuff on there. Uh, I, I just recently discovered him and uh, saw this box. It was listed. Uh, you'll see the the listing right now. So, yeah, based on that, you'll see that it's mentioned as a huge 1,000 sports card collection. Rookies, parallels, Hall of Fame, stars, inserts, all sorts of cool stuff. And from the pictures... There, y'all got to see some of the pictures of some of the cards that I saw. I kind of helped me, you know what, make the decision to, to flip the switch and put on bids, put bids and put bids. And uh, maybe I ran this up on myself. I don't know. But anyway, um, if y'all if y'all could let me know if you think it was worth it. I mean, I'm, I'm going to have fun either way. And uh, sure, you know what? It, it, it's money that might have been spent on something else. But uh, I, I look like to me that there were some great cards in these pictures. And uh there's always something from every. Oh, there's always something in a box, in a collection, in a package that you know what. If the price seems right, um, either I'm gonna have fun with it, okay. That that's the worst case scenario. I'll just have a goof on it, or there'll be stuff in there that I could flip and get other cards, or add to my personal collection, or pass out in giveaways, or throw up on my COMC, or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, one way or the other. Uh, to me, any anything that I make, first of all, it's 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 hobby. Uh, yeah, sure. I I definitely tend to try to make uh, any any purchase money back in one way or another. Uh, this way, I can have more great cards. I mean, <laughs> it's especially on the vintage side. Now, in the back and forth that I had with Sean, he mentioned that he actually also put something in. He recently subscribed to my channel, and Sean, I definitely appreciate that. Absolutely appreciate all subscribers and comments and thumbs up and all of that stuff. I say that often here. Um, but he mentioned that he threw in something vintage as a surprise to this surprise box. So, to me, I, I think that's really cool. Bonuses in surprise boxes are always cool. Now, I'd also say check out my eBay shop if you don't mind. Um, I post a link down below. This is something I actually picked up that's pretty cool. Picked it up along the way. Uh, my recent travels to Baltimore. Uh, the Baltimore area, I should say. Uh, not in Baltimore, but not too far out of Baltimore. Uh, it is an official ATF Washington Field Division cap. Brand new tags, all of that other stuff. And yeah, from what I've found out, that that is the true make. That's who makes it for, and yeah, like everything made in China, you know. But anyway, this is this is supposedly actual field issue for ATF employees, part of the Washington Field Division. I mean, if y'all have any other information on that, let me know. But either way, it's going up on my eBay store, and uh, may the best person win. So, or the best bid, I should say, not the best person, because the best best bid is not necessarily always the best person but anyway let's get ripping here let me stop with all the chatter um now i have some frappers here just in case there's anything loose although uh again sd sports uh sd45 sports mentioned that uh there's extra packing and padding and all of that you never know i might find some stuff in here that uh might need a frapper or might need a top load or anything else so let's get ripping here let's see what's in this special surprise box and again let me know if y'all think this was worth the purchase or if i overbid or or i guarantee that somebody's going to email me and say hey i got a collection too you know what i if, if i have the available cash at that time 
I'd definitely uh, take a look, see if we could talk, that's for sure. If not purchase, trade, or something like that. All right, so good padding. I like this. This lots of extra bubble wrap in here. Bubble wrap is a good thing. Ooh, and I see a, I see a bonus right up on top. And these things are always fun. Enough. We could just go boom. Ooh, I may have just made my dogs go wild upstairs. <laughs> All right, cool. Now, I'm seeing a bunch of stuff here in top loaders and frappers. There's some cards down at the bottom of this box. Let me take those out so I'll see. Top loaders and frappers. And there's a bunch of other cards that are not. Some are, some aren't, but that's all good. I'm going to move this to the side. Ooh, and there's some special stuff in here. Now, I'm going to take these out first because these were part of the reason I picked this up. I figured if there was some graded cards in here, that might make it a little bit better. Let me move this out of the way for right now. Just as far as thinking about possible flip or pc or giveaway or anything like that so let's see we have a pascal siakam psa 9 that's nice i have to find out more about him that's for sure and we have ourselves a sam darnold D D darnold from the jets don't say new york jets the new jersey jets okay panini select csg9 so very nice there. That's where we'll start that off with. Now, I'm going to take a look. Let's see. I'm going to put these alongside here. And I'm going to take a look through the ones that are on the top vintage. Give me a second here before I start doing anything else. I have, like, wires hanging and all sorts of junk. All right. Cool. So let's see what we're starting with here. I figure we'll, I'll take a look at the vintage first. Now, that's a really nice-looking Jack Morris rookie. Very excited about that. That's great. Awesome card there. 1977 Tops Vita Blue. Now, I am putting together a, a bunch of sets, as I mentioned, uh, previous videos. Um, I'm, I'm looking at putting together, if possible, and in good grades, uh, 72 through maybe 87, 88. Um, I definitely have a few and I can put together per sets from, from packs that I've ripped or boxes that I've ripped or, you know, things like that. Um, especially from like the mid eighties on, but I am putting together or trying to work on putting together as opposed to just buying the set outright, uh, the 72, three, four, five, six, all the way through the mid eighties. So just to have a good run. And in, in particular to me, the 73 to 78, um, that, that's my childhood right there. So, I mean, that, that's the first phase of me collecting. And this Vita Blue is definitely an upgrade, in my opinion, condition-wise, from the Vita Blue that I have. That's, that's a nice card. All right, we got the Mike Edwards Record Breaker card. That's from the 79. Very nice there. Ooh, and then we got some vintage football. Reggie White. Very cool. I'm definitely going to need a, a much bigger wall of fame for this video, I think. Got the Fridge Perry. I've pulled him in packs before. That's very cool. Nice card there. We got the Dave Meggett Super Rookie. Very cool card there. Got the Rodney Pete Super Rookie. Sweet football card there as well. Very nice. Nice shape there. Centering looks nice, too. Very cool. Herschel. Got Herschel Walker. Very cool card there. Very, very nice. That's the 88 Tops. 88 Tops, Herschel. The Nolan Ryan. Okay, now that's... Don't worry about that. That's some gunk on the top loader. That's the Strikeout Leaders, 1978. Nolan Ryan, Phil Necro, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame. Very cool. Now, what do we have here? We have... Y'all going to have to help me on this one. We have L. Jack Milden, and that's a numbered card out of 199. Very cool card there. I have to find out more about that athlete. I'm seeing a Jeremy Sochan. Jimmy Butler. Kobe. All right, now that's a nice Kobe card. Hidden Gems, very nice card there. 
And speaking of 72, there goes a throwback. This is from the Tops. Um, what do they call these Tops? Throwback Tops, vintage Tops, whatever. Um, one of the Tops heritage, I should say. That's what it is. This is a Key Brian Hayes rookie card from the 72 Heritage. Very nice. Hayes is a hit machine. Now, I know he went through a bit of an injury, and with young kids and rookies, you never know exactly what's going to happen career-wise. I mean, it could end up he's going to end up having a Hall of Fame career. It could end up that he's just another great player, and it could end up that who knows where he's going to be next week. But, uh, I mean, any anybody who's followed sports, baseball, football, anything for a while, they, they it's a it's a given. Anything can happen to anybody on any given day. All right, we got ourselves a Jeff Conine, nice Bronson Arroyo. He was a great pitcher for a while. Connor Wong, nice card there, rookie card there, very sweet card. All right, cool. And a nice refractor card. Very cool there. Tyron Davis Price. Tyrion Davis Price. And Tyrese Martin. Okay, another nice refractor prism. Very cool card. Got John Morant. Now, I know one of my nephews is going to be excited to see that. He's a big Cha fan. Lisman Garuba. I got to keep tapping these. Yeah, our friends at the UP, USPS, uh, they they bang this box up, but I'm so I'm I'm extra thankful for the uh, for the extra packaging and the way that these these cards were packaged. That was a great thing. Uh, I mean, we've we've all had our experiences with USPS, so I won't I won't say more than that. All right, we got it. Andy Ibanez, Rangers rookie card, very nice, very nice. Zion. All right, look at that. Rookies and stars, Zion. Very nice. This is this is absolutely lining up to be a great box. Marquez Stevenson, auto, autographical there. Very cool. Now let's take a look at the second stack here. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be going through all of the cards there. I may skip through and just take a look because there's a bunch of other cards. Again, this is a 1,000 plus sports card collection box i mean so far i'm definitely enjoying this uh lots of great cards there all right we got a grant grant riller and another okay got a bunch of him sadiq bay all right rated rookies there now again for those of y'all who know me um or who know my ebay shop or know me if uh there's any cards that are in here that you know what they might not have value or much value because you know what rookies come and go and all of that some great stuff ends up in my team packs and i am working on some uh, basketball team packs as well uh, similar to the baseball and football ones that i have so lots of different ways that duplicates can be split and that's a bunch of duplicates right there so duplicates aren't always bad i mean uh they could be somebody else that collects basketball or football or whatever else so there's always ways to package and repackage and sort and resort and make a lot more people happy. That's for sure. And especially if they're fans of a particular team or player. Got Jaden Springer. Charles Bassey. Lots of rookies there. Now that hair, yo. Now that hair in a basketball player is pretty wild. C.J. Ellaby. Actually reminds me of one of my other nephews. All right, we got the Talent Pipeline. Pretty cool there. Nice shiny card. And again, you never know with the young kids if they're going to end up having a monster career. That's Will Smith. Not the Will Smith that, that, that punched somebody, but the other Will Smith. Got Scotty Pippen Jr. All right, that's pretty cool. Vidal Bruhan, Christian McCaffrey, Ross Stripling, Jordan Lowe, Carl Malone, nice prism card there, very nice card, and we have a football, 
Isaiah Spiller. All right. Nice stuff there. Corey Kispert. Zach Wilson. Okay. Well, I mean, rookie card. And uh, I mean, we'll see exactly what happens with him now that Aaron Rodgers is with the Jets. Uh, not sure if he got dished off or anything like that. So y'all can let me know. Got Cam Reddish. Now, I think we saw one of them before, but that's a red one. So cool stuff there. Aaron Jones. Green Bay Packers, nice. And Isaiah Livers. Now, as far as the Packers, you know, again, being from the New York, New Jersey area like I am, I could say that I never really had much appreciation for the Packers. But the, uh, the year and a half, almost two years that I spent out in the Wisconsin area, I could definitely say I have an appreciation for Packers fans. I mean, they are passionate beyond passionate as far as their football and football team. I that That's one thing that, that really caught me as far as uh, being in the Appleton, the Green Bay area. Um, I was I was stationed or based out of the Appleton, Nina area. So Green Bay was right around the corner. Literally uh, right down the block, the way I put it. Um, faster drive in between Appleton and Green Bay than uh, any of y'all who know New York City uh Definitely faster than trying to get across the Bronx on the Cross Bronx Expressway or lack of expressway as it may be at any given time. All right, so we have here a 1972 BSG grading, 1972 tops. Very nice checklist. That's cool. And another PSA card. Now, this is very nice. I didn't see this in there. Glenn Robinson. PSA 8, 1994 Emotion. So we got four graded cards in there. A couple nines, CSG and PSA. We got a PSA 8. And we have a BSG. Now, I don't know much about BSG. But you know what? I don't care. It's slabbed and it's a nice card. It's definitely in great condition. Near Mint 7. Very good. I'm, I'm happy so far. This is the definitely been lining up to be a great box I, I definitely need to either make some more room in my wall of fame because i got stuff just stacked up over here now let's see i'm gonna grab a handful from the box and try to be very careful how i do this because you know what i'd hate for my big fingers to mess something up in here and uh yeah i've been known to do that Ooh, i saw something nice there that was something really nice okay very cool and then there's a bunch of cards that are not in frappers. Now, some of them I may end up putting in frappers. Others I may not. Eh, I guess we'll see. Ooh, I'm seeing more nice stuff. This is this is absolutely fun. Again, the eBay store I bought this from was SD Sport SD forty five four five Sports. So yeah, definitely take a look. See, okay, now I'm gonna. Just grab a handful of these. And I may end up doing a follow-up video if there's anything else cool that comes out of this. Because I don't want to keep y'all here forever. Um, just outlining or showing y'all any of the other great hits from here. But I, I figure we can go through a couple handfuls more of these cards. So y'all could have an appreciation. And again, let me know in the comments if you think this was worth the hundred bucks not worth the hundred bucks i i'm i'm thinking it is i'm definitely having fun going through these and to me the hundred dollars in fun there goes dj lamaheo very nice aficionado haven't seen that one before nice card there jew urshela doogie really what's a doogie oh okay 1988 Retro, Alex Verdugo. Nice. Romero, okay. Very cool. These are the Gypsy Queens, and these are the Greens. Trey Turner. I know my buddy Tupac Jimmy likes his Gypsy Queens. These are very cool. J.D. Martinez. Very cool, very cool. A couple Jackie Bradleys there. I should say Jackie Bradley Jr. Hugh Darvish. 
That's such a goofy picture of him. And it looks like his, his jaw is about to pop off or his face is going to come off. Very cool. Max Muncy. Bo Bichette. Bo Flows. As opposed to Bo Knows, I, I guess he flows. Very cool card there. All right, we've got another throwback. Vladdy. Very nice. 88 Retro. Vladdy Guerrero. Joey Votto. Now, a lot of people are debating as far as his Hall of Fame career, if he will be Hall of Fame or not, or if he's just marginal. Pete Alonzo. Great player there. Rafael Devers. Very nice. Aficionado card. Mookie Betts. Very cool. Nelson Cruz. Dalton Jeffries. Gallery of Stars. Francisco Lindor. Casey Mize. All right, we got Stanton. Nice Diamond Kings Giancarlo Stanton. And yeah, you know what? Now, baseball side, first of all, there's a lot of Hall of Famers in here, but a lot of Yankees. And y'all know, you know what? I'm a baseball fan, but a Yankee fan, born and raised there. So, Tomei, sweet. Frankie Montes. Sean Manea. Freddie Peralta. And an Allen and Ginter. Very cool card there. Anthony Rendon. Nice, nice card there. Great shape. And you know what? I would say that even though these uh these this box got a bit beat up, uh because again, because of the packaging, uh these these all look like they're in really good shape. So I'm definitely happy as far as condition. Freddie Freeman. Ooh, Joe Maurer. Nice throwback card there from 73, top, 73 Tops Design. That's from 2021 Heritage, I think. Is it 2021 or 2020 Heritage that they did the 1973 design? Got Zach Gallen. All right, then we got a bunch of Diamondbacks cards there. Sterling Marte, okay. Ooh, one of the holiday cards. I've seen other people open the holiday packs. I have not opened the holiday packs. So it's nice. This is one of the first ones that I have that I actually have had in my hands. Casey Mize, another throwback and rookie card there. I think I'm going to frapper that one up if y'all give me a second. I'm going to keep that one on the side. Gerald Wilkins, Glaber. Now, he was definitely supposed to be... Uh, a great, an all-time great, and a this and that. And uh, you know what? He still has a chance, although we'll see exactly how that all goes, how that, how the rest of his career plays out. Ernie Banks, Mr. Cub, Mr. Sunshine. Very nice card there, Ernie Banks card. Sweet card there. I'll frapper that one also. Alvarez and Altuve. Ooh, okay. So, yeah, this is... Uh, Similar to the 76 traded design. Kind of similar to that. Uh, the 70, 1974 and 1976 design. They were kind of similar. Although a bit different. Um, kind of similar but a bit different. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense in my world. But Randy Johnson. Seattle lands lofty lefty. Uh, that's very cool. The sports extra. I'm going to frapper him up too. I, I like my Randy cards. Bradley, that's a nice rookie card. Rogers Hornsby from the ninth, from the fortieth anniversary edition. Very cool there. Mike Mustakis, Syndergaard. Now he started off phenomenal as a pitcher. I mean, let's see if he's able to recoup and come back. But I mean, I know people were talking about his Hall of Fame chances and all of that, which seems to have fizzled out as his career went on. Keston Hiura, nice all-star rookie second base. That's another throwback design. And Otani, sweet. Now that's really nice. That's a nice one. Very cool card there. Anything Otani to me, you know what? Absolutely collectible. All right, and we have Teixeira, Mark Teixeira, powers up Angels infield. Former Yankee there. 
Smith and Muncie, just dingers. Dylan Cease. Uh, has he ceased or not? I'm not sure. Number five in a set of 30 full color picture cards. Okay. Rookie card there. I mean, either way, I hold on to rookies in my special box. And I, I know that I've, I've gone through a couple special boxes. And maybe I should have gone through them on camera. Of collections that I picked up that had rookies and other stuff throughout the years. And uh, it, it absolutely, absolutely fun going through them now. Uh, in some of these boxes I picked up five, ten years ago. And just left them on the shelf in my garage. Or, you know, and moved from one place to the other. And re-found re them. And, uh... Finding like Freddie Freeman rookies and uh, Joey Votto rookies and uh, Max Scherzer rookies and Clayton Kershaw rookies, uh, all in really, really nice shape. Uh, some of them I will end up getting graded, uh, but seeing the value all these years later, and uh, I, I, I believe that a couple of these were just put together as like either commons or not, a, not exactly totally commons boxes, but uh, you know, just boxes of thousands of cards and i i like my big purchases that's for sure my my large amount purchases because not necessarily large dollar although that's relative miguel andujar that's relative to any particular person but a large amount of cards uh to me that there's always something fun in there even if again even if it's just goofing on the players max muncie again there jeff bagwell very cool card there Got Christian and Christian Yelich and Hira. Another great rookie. Okay, good. Tons of rookies in here, too. Eloy Jimenez. Very nice. Oh, there we go. Javi Baez for the Cubs fans out there. I know that there's a couple that watch the channel. The big time major Cubs fan. El Mag Mago? Majo? Majo. Mago. I. I hope it's a Mago or a Majo or something similar to that. Let me grab one more stack out of these and see what other kind of fun stuff is. And then I'll end up doing maybe a recap of anything else that I find in here that I think is cool. Although that kind of locks y'all out of anything that y'all might think is cool. But you know what? Uh, too bad, so sad. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ooh, I found more Frapper cards in here too. So those to me are definitely go throughable on videoable and there's definitely some cool ones there okay very cool let me put this back up on the top shelf and see what's in this last little stack all right alex boom nice card there the art of hitting babe ruth all right babe ruth the card is definitely and it's in a frapper already so that's nice Got Matt Manning, Sam Huff. Got another Pete Alonzo. Nice card there. The Artist Palette, Johnny Bench. That's a nice card. I like that one. Art on that is really cool. AP15. Very cool. I'm going to throw that up on the wall. All right. What do we got here? We got Seth Joyner, Pinnacle. Got some Pinnacle Football. Then we got some basketball cards. Robinson, nice card there. Upper deck. Looking all young. Chris Robinson is. That is not David Robinson. That's another Robinson. Eric Strickland. Robert Davis. Uh, John Starks. Okay. Ooh, Patrick Ewing. Nice card there. Watch for the hand. I'll go hands with you. Very nice, Patrick Ewing. Alan Houston. Juwan Howard. Todd Day. Pretty cool. He's spinning it on his finger downwards. Well, Celtics man is spinning on his fingers upwards. All right, defining moments. Sonics Kemp. Very cool. Got Chris Webber. Joe Smith, one-on-one, -on -one. Detlef Shrimp, and Tony Kukak. Nice. A little crease in that, but eh, you know what? That could end up going into a team pack or something. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to keep that one on the side. Chris Gatling, Roni Seekley, Bryant Reeves, 
And Jamal Mashburn, very cool card there. Actually, I knew a family member of his years ago that I haven't been in touch with. And maybe I need to make a phone call, see if they still have the same phone number. Anyway, so this has definitely been fun. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. I, I think I definitely got a good bargain on this. But you know what? I Y'all let me know what you think. If you had the chance to pick something up like this and it was 100 bucks, would you? I mean, I know that for some it might be a bit steep. Uh, for others, it might be seriously on the cheap. Uh, I mean, again, price is all relative. But I believe that I got much more than my much more bang for my buck than the 100 bucks here. I mean, even if I was going to COMC everything, sure, it might take time, but I guarantee you uh, that I'd easily pull 100 and then some out of this. So this is one reason that I do like, I guess, surprise collections that show some of the pictures and not necessarily all. And you got to make a judgment based on the pictures you see um, and what you particularly like. I mean, kind of like I say in some of my videos, uh, sometimes with packs, you rip it, flip it, and collect what you love. And I, I do know that there's going to be some of these that stay in my personal collection. Um, others of these that I definitely would be open to trade. I believe that uh, I do know a couple of people that collect Ernie Banks, uh, stuff with him, or Cubs in general. So yeah, definitely fun. I definitely, definitely had a good time going through this. And I, I still have, I don't know, seven, 800 cards to go through here, so... And anything that I find that's cool, I might do a follow-up video just uh, just showing y'all through anything else cool that I find. But I also hear Mrs. Bunkle calling me in the background, so I got to cut myself a little shorter than maybe I'd like to on this. And uh, outside of that, it's getting a bit late in the day. I'm filming this on a Saturday, and I my, I actually have work to do this afternoon, uh, starting from 6 p.m., going through midnight uh, for my day job, you know, the thing that helps pay the bills while I have fun doing all of this stuff. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed. Again, comment down below. I uh, appreciate all subscribers, thumbs up, thumbs down, all of that stuff. And y'all take care. Stay well, stay blessed. Bonkle out.